Oh yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, it's a double. Uh -oh. My friends, today's adventure in Northwest Arkansas brings us up the road from Bentonville into Bella Vista and the Little Sugar area. The plan for today is to take on Landline, Tweety Bird, and Down Under with a little bit of tunnel vision. Tunnel vision is really like the main trail that everybody talks about. It's a big 25 mile loop, but this little chunk that we're gonna do today will probably end up being 17 miles or so. There's just a lot out here. Before we get started, I need to tell you that this video is sponsored by Pastimes. It's the new app to get you plugged in to your local mountain bike community or any other active outdoor community. There are people in your neighborhood going out and mountain biking all the time and you would never know it. People who are looking for new friends to ride with. Pastimes is the app that fixes this problem. It's available now on iOS and Android in the USA and Canada. You can create your own public group rides with as many people or as few people as you want. You can write in the description, hey, I'm gonna go out for two hours, I'm gonna do the toughest trails. Or you can say, hey, I'm gonna go out for one hour, I'm gonna do the easiest trails. All kinds of people are on pastimes, first timers, experts, and everything in between. You can also set your availability inside the app. If you only have time to ride between three o'clock and 5 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can type all that into the app. And if someone else has similar availability, you'll match up, you can message, and you can get out on a ride. If you're out traveling, you can load up the app and see what's happening in that area. And it's not just for mountain biking, it's for all types of outdoor activities, hiking, walking, bird watching, Canoeing, kayaking, rock climbing. There's more, there's always more. Seeing is believing. Download the app, play around with it, invite your friends. The more people that get on Pastimes, the better the app gets. Thanks a ton to Pastimes for sponsoring this video and creating an app that actually solves real problems. Okay, let's get the treasure hunt underway here. Ooh, I see a little single track. It's been wet and rainy and cold out here. And supposedly, Little Sugar is one of the best draining areas, so today should be pretty good riding. <laughs> Single track through the, the old park. Ooh, a little chilly. The most amazing thing about this whole region is so many of these trails are just right out people's back door or front door. That is just so cool. Get to a 50 mile ride right from your front porch oh, oh, oh it feels good now that's landline. landline that's what we want these signs are just so stop, nice chelsea. <laughs> stop chelsea <laughs> stop Thank you. get ready babe lock and load Mandatory gap. Whoa. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Cool. Oop. Oh, hold on. <laughs> could feel it. Uh, it's crazy how much I look at maps all the time and how different the terrain is from the map. Oh, into the green berms. Oh. Yeah. The road and the houses aren't far away, but it definitely feels like we're in the middle of nowhere in the woods. I like it. These trails are definitely built to be ridden both ways and they even had like a pole for the down under trail, which way was more exciting, which way was more fun. So I think we're gonna ride. I hope we're gonna ride the correct direction. Yeah! Oh. 
yeah. Oh yeah. Into the green. <laughs> Did, didn't see it coming. Yeah, that was quick. Tweety Bird on the right. Big old Daytona style trail. Could do some passing on this. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty good for a flat burn. Pretty fun. I always have, well, I almost always have my Trail Forks ride log in the description. If you want to come out and do the same ride that we're doing, Usually the only reason I don't post it is if we happen to be riding illegal trails, which is very, very rare, or something blows up with Strava and it just doesn't work right. It's really not, oh, ar dead armadillo. <laughs> it's my first armadillo. That thing's been there for a while. I would like to see one alive, but the great thing about Trail Forks is that you can save anyone's ride. If you find their ride, something they did, you save it to your phone and then it gives you a yellow line that you can just follow and see what they did. Now we're back on tunnel vision, as you can see. <laughs> it may be hard to believe, but I've been with my little sugar here, Sarah, for a year now. Pure pandemic relationship. Who knows what's gonna happen when we get out of this? <laughs> the secret to our fantastic relationship is we both live on opposite sides of the country. We send each other an email every couple weeks, check in. <laughs> but I did run out of stamps, so I'm sorry, I'm a little behind. Actually, thank the secret is gratitude. Yeah. Hit it, hit it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Big old burn. Me? Whoa, yes. That was a good one. I feel like we're going the correct direction. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, cool. More rollers. Yeah. Oh, it's a double. Oh, with a hard landing. Oh. oh, into the tree. Yeah. Man, the bike is coming alive more than ever. That was sweet. Yeah, if you build a trail to work both ways, automatically double your mileage. Just doesn't feel right when you're climbing up massive berms. <laughs> Just took six miles into the ride to prove it. When I make that noise, it means I'm doing all I can not to break. <laughs> what must the neighbors think? <laughs> exactly. Everyone's welcome. 
it's funny how most people when they talk about these trails they say oh yeah the walmart trails walmart spent a bunch of money it's really not walmart it's the walton family foundation tom and stuart walton the grandsons of sam walton big mountain bikers with a big vision so yes without walmart this wouldn't have happened but it's not like the walmart chairman of the board is uh, dictating where the trails are going to be and all that stuff it's really not as related as you might think the walton family is the richest family in the world and they have all kinds of other philanthropy efforts this is just one turning a a place into a mountain bike destination and showing that if you put money into the trails how much those trails can give back to the community and i really really hope they keep doing studies and showing and proving that every dollar you spend on a trail comes back tenfold us as mountain bikers we believe we know how powerful mountain biking is and how much money we spend and how much we want to go everywhere and see everything but until you actually prove it and put it in writing and show people this is how it's been done yeah it's all just emotion emotion definitely helps but organization is way more important yeah and as i've traveled around the country and the world you know the money thing it helps but it's really not the most important part in america there's all kinds of grants and stuff for trails and outdoor and health it's all about going through that red tape and getting a real good plan together first Some of these roller jumps are so nice. That's all I want to do. Hit baby jumps. You know, it is pretty amazing that Sarah rides mountain bikes. I really didn't care if my future partner had uh, any kind of skill on the mountain bike. You know, you hope they're healthy and active a little bit, but it's been really cool <laughs> to be able to share all this stuff together. Uh, for me, it's just like, race or ethnicity or anything else like i don't care as long as the person is great and they compliment you and it's just that's all that matters the onyx coffee lab in bentonville their motto is never settle for good enough and that's been a pretty good north star throughout my life it's paid off pretty good it's a lot of times i could settle throughout my life for good enough but ah <sighs> can't do it Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Looks like a downer. In the best sense of the word. Oh, yeah. Oh. Whoa, those were the best looking berms so far. Best feeling, too. Brake check. Woo. Wow, totally changed yeah. different rocks now. That's cool. Big ledges over there. Pedal strikes for miles. This stuff has been pretty good where we get fun downhills and then we grind uphill and it's not boring. <laughs> oh man, my memories of the back 40, flat, 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 just not really engaging. I don't see us getting back out there on this trip. I've kind of been there, done that, and uh, not interested. But supposedly, the tunnel vision loop, the 25 mile loop, is a lot like this the whole way, where it's interesting. You, you, you do big, or maybe not big, big climbs, but you do climbs, you get descents. You do climbs, you get descents. Small triangles. Small triangles. <laughs> not big Colorado triangles. And uh, as long as it's interesting and you're kind of getting a little butt kicking going, that's good. BK don't like XC actually. <laughs> we will get by. We will survive. 
Touch of Grey by The Grateful Dead. Fantastic song. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that was sweet. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that was the loop. Pretty good. I could definitely see doing it both ways. I am very, very lucky that I can live a private life and a public life. Many YouTubers have to live their life in full public view constantly. You have to get videos out, you have to do things. So it's, it's nice. The way I have things set up, I can actually go on all kinds of adventures with Sarah and nobody needs to know about them. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> Dead stop. That's a good berm though because you're about to cross the street and you need a little warning shot. Oh man. That felt like it was gonna give out. <laughs> oh, that one too. A little flat compared to all the rest. Uh oh uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that was so cool. Put the power down on all those little sections. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Enduro. <laughs> Super fun. <laughs> Little one meter of trail. Whoa, big old river out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, is it the little sugar probably? Yeah. This is it. Squirrel? A beaver ran out in front of you? <laughs> I heard it in the bush. I've never seen a beaver. I always thought I was gonna kill it. That's huge. They're resilient. Got a lifelong dream to see a damn beaver. I went to Alaska and saw a hundred different beaver dams. Come on out, you varmint. Saw a bunch of porcupines in Alaska. Grizzly bears, black bears, bald eagles. Hey, this is neat. Not as action-packed as everything else, but still definitely worthwhile. Okay, it wasn't 17 miles. I thought we were gonna do like 17, it was 13. Still plenty good. If you go do the loop both ways, add on another five miles. Kind of cool. Post ride lunchtime, we're going to 8th Street Market. We were here yesterday, it was brutally cold, it was empty. Now it's like 63 degrees, perfect. There's Bikes tons everywhere. of people, it's the place to be. No, this was this is where I went yesterday. I was gonna get noodles today. Ah, oh, come on. What'd you get? A smoky gouda grilled cheese sandwich with some cornichons and some cherry jam from a, uh, I guess they're like a cheese shop. They have all these fancy cheeses. One was called Mount Tam, like in uh, California. Luckily, there's more than just uh, amazing pot stickers at 8th Street Market. So I went over to Yayo's and got a cheese quesadilla, well, carne asada quesadilla. You're putting in some miles, I saw you this morning. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So after lunch, I went over to help Rich Drew out on a video. He's doing an All-American Trail preview. This trail is so fun. It's such the, uh, it's so good. We're gonna have to do it again.
Yeah, we're just getting started, dude. <laughs> just wait. Stay tuned. He's gonna uh, he's gonna get me jumping big time. More, more goodness to come. Bust big is his promise. There you go. <laughs> So after that little filming session, we headed over to the Momentary and got something to eat and hung out. They have such a cool outdoor setup. They've got a food truck. The food was amazing. It took so long for every order. It was like 45 minutes for everything we ordered each time. We did our, our main entrees, then we got dessert, then we got a hot chocolate after that. And it's like they forgot about our order every single time. They're using a new app. It sucked, it was terrible, but the food was so good and the place is so cool. So hopefully they get that all figured out. We had a pretty good day celebrating one year together. Here's to 99 ye more years. I think I'll be able to stand you for at least that long. <laughs> then, we'll, then we'll see. Maybe we'll figure something out after that. So do me a favor. Go ride something new. And maybe we'll see you on the trail. Maybe we will see you on the trail. <laughs>